Well, sucks to be them. Anything in the archery club? Or archery range? Nothing? Okay. Me in! Green. The girl on the rooftop. Ah, her. She just happens to be up there right now. I saw her holding the key to the rooftop a moment ago. Did you hear? There was a murder near the school yesterday. A high school killed, or a kid was killed. It happened on their way home. I live near there, and now I'm scared to go home. What if you just stay at the school 24-7? That solves all problems. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Multimedia room? Multimedia room. Gotcha. At any point, do you get to go in the multimedia room? I don't know if you do or don't. Three A. Yeah, same stuff. <laughs> I see it's going to be easy now. The exam. I'm talking about the exam. Sure you are. That's definitely not creepy or suspicious at all. I turn the doorknob and the metal door opens silently on its hinges. As a rule, no one is allowed up on the rooftop, but I can see how someone or I can see someone's elongated shadow. The vibrant color set off by setting of the sun is enough to take one's breath away. Under the now blood red sky, a single girl looks out on the town that spreads out below. Like a figure out of a painting. The girl seems to shine with the same red glow as the setting sun. Until she turns around. <laughs> that face. What a beautiful sunset. I can only imagine how captivating this sight must be for the people who live here. It is indeed a very beautiful scene. A shame that it doesn't really exist. On the surface, it seems such a, uh, like such a Bingen. Peaceful world. A pity that it'll soon have to come to an end. This place is merely an idolized imitation of the real world, and one done in poor taste. I wonder if there's any value to memory that can only be observed and then left behind. I'm not quite sure if the last thing was supposed to express disgust or disappointment. Probably disappointment. Or both. As she finishes speaking, a faint smile forms on the girl's lips as she slowly turns in my direction. Her unwavering gaze makes it seem like she can see things hidden to others. Her eyes seem to shine with an intensity that rivals that of the fiery red e of the evening sky. Sun, not scun. What's this? A notice from the system. Thanks for bringing it to me. Huh? That's not it. That must mean you'd be one of the generic, I mean, students. If it's one of uh, the irrelevant NPCs that can get up here, I guess I'll have to find another place to hang out. Continuing to mumble quietly to herself, the girl quickly walks my way. Oh well, at least this is a good opportunity for me to look at one of you over. Stand still, you. Unexpectedly, her finger reaches out and touches my cheek. Wait, what's this? Is this a warning from the system? Direct interference does break the rules after all. Ninja Reen. Mumbling to herself, the girl disappears without a trace. That's like no one was there at all. She vanished? They are not. Her form's been indefinitely uh, burned into my mind. Oh, you're still here. It's almost time to leave school. You should prepare to go home. What's wrong? You look a little pale. The sound of Issei's voice pulls me back to reality. I must look completely dazed and confused. And so, the days of our lives. Um, soap opera joke there. 
Maybe I'm tired, or... I'll talk with the editor-in-chief again tomorrow. In any case, I think the course of wisdom is now would be to go home like Issei says. A day will pass if you leave campus. Sure, we've already pretty much talked to everyone. Save your progress. Save. Oh, and before I forget it, um, just because uh, I don't know what day this part will actually come out. I'm guessing it's probably Friday, but um, keep an eye on the Discord. It's probably already opened up, but uh, Gilfest, something that I've also been working on for quite a little while, uh, and finally got from and got permission from Inu to actually do, uh, should have started. And actually, we should be like I say, if it's on Friday, we should be on Challenge Two at this point. So fun stuff. Uh, hopefully everybody's enjoying it. <coughs> Auspicious star, such dazzling light. It drowns even the chimes of bells. It's like I'm writing poetry. I entered the classroom. Once again, Shijimoto in the seat next to me has a full house. He's gave up on Ren. I'm telling you, you don't have any talent. Give up before you look for tard or look like a retard. That is not a nice word, Shinji. So you know what he said to that? What? What? What did he say? We're dying to know. Tell us. This wuss gets all boo-hoo and he says, I'll keep practicing until I get better. I can at least get better than you who skips practice. Sorry, I have to laugh. Anybody knows that you can't practice your way into being a genius. <laughs> if he wants to practice something, you should practice not sounding like a tool. The guy's not a total maggot, but he's still trash and needs to find a garbage can. <laughs> that moron. People aren't created equal. Even people who are born above average can never reach the same heights as those truly naturally gifted. You must be so telling if you don't need to practice, Monto. I feel bad for that kid. Trash can't be helped, being trash. It should learn to stop dreaming about being something better. Tell that to Drubbish, who one day dreams of being the bestest of trash, and maybe one day not being trash. The bell rings in response to the gaggle of girls sho- Gaggle of girls? Is that the plural? Plural? Girls? Gaggle? Huh. Shuffle off into their own seats. While we wait for the teacher to arrive, I get caught up on what Shinji said for some reason. Whether or not Shinji has an innate talent, I think that it's pretty clear that I'm nobody. Nobody. With no goals. I mean, when I try to even think about the future, I get overwhelmed. As long as they keep plotting away, someday I'll reach my totally average future. Yay. <laughs> he sounds so excited. That's what happens to everyone, right? There are actually people who break the pattern? How? I have no idea. For me, today is just another ordinary day. Except for my mind broke. Good morning, everyone. Suddenly, my heart accelerates, each beat painfully strong. It's as if my body's on high alert. I know it's not a reaction to Miss Fujimura, no. Well, kids, this is a little out of the blue, but today I want to introduce you to a new friend. It's him, that blonde boy is the one who ca uh, who's causing my body to fight or fly instincts to prickle. Go on, Leo. Introduce yourself. For what purpose? Huh? Well, Leo, you'll be attending a school with these people, so I'm sure they'd like to know who you are. Ah, I see. These good people do not know my name yet. He steps forward and then just in a louder voice says, He said that. That's what he said. In time, it will be a name known to all the world. But for now, it is the name of your classmate. I'm pleased to meet you all. I hope we enjoy our time together. The classroom is solid. There aren't even jabs at his eccentric manner of speaking or any coups on how pretty he is. Instead, the entire classroom is enthralled by his regal bearings, entr uh, entranced even. Shinji wor Shinji's words come to mind. 
this is what it must this is what it means to be on a different level. None of us plebs could even ever hope to reach the level that is this new kid lives on. It's not overextending to call his very existence transfixing. Like deer and headlights were immobilized by presence far broader than our own. His natural place is above us, looking down as a king. How did someone like him end up here? It must be a mistake. Uh, um, anyway, everyone, please make Leo feel welcome. Then, Leo, if you would please take a seat. It looks like the third seat in the second row from the right is open. Will that be okay? Leo, are you addressing me? Ah, uh, I see no reason to allow you to call me Leo. Does it didn't feel awkward to hear it from you? If you have the chance, I'd very much like for a delightful woman like you to visit my country. What? what? Jeez. Don't joke with your teacher. To your seat, Leo. I don't smack you since well. It's kind of flattering if you just say that. Of course. I appreciate your diplomacy, Miss Fujimura. Then, the boy gave kind of an easy smile that only kids can. The simple smile washes away the tension in the room, and people even begin to smile themselves. I think he's not much so a king as a prince. He may be above us, but he also has natural charisma that draws upon, uh, draws us up to his level. However, there seems to be at least one person in the class whose mileage varies. I don't like him flirting with the teacher already. That arrogant little twerp. She's clearly not happy. If you have any questions, ask anyone in the class or myself. Or I mean, come to me first. There's no need to be shy. Yes, I understand. I'm pleased that I'll be attending such a good school. Am I imagining anything? Just for a second, I thought he shifted his attention towards me, not towards anyone else. Not even to Shinji, who's still bad-mouthing Leo, but to me alone. Yeah, right. There's no way a practically otherworldly person like him would notice bland me. After all, I'm the equivalent of dirt. The school day ended with nothing else of interest in occurring. But that Leo, I can't shake the uneasiness he awoke in my heart. It feels like cog somewhere. I have been misaligned. No, I'm just excited because for once, something happened. Well, besides what happened yesterday. I should report yesterday's finding of the editor-in-chief. It seems like more and more people are staying home. Could it be that slasher rumor be true? Hey, the editor-in-chief is on the journal with Polly Jones. You better go. Kid. I kind of have a headache. It's like static in my head. Maybe there's a cold going around? Oh. I heard a familiar voice as I walked down the hallway. It's coming from around the corner. And there you have it. To summarize, about 30% of the participants have overcome the computer's brainwashing. Those individuals now remember who they are. They're all classed A Magi. One girl in particular made quick work of the brainwashing. You might say she's natural and therefore more adept than Magi who have been more sheltered. Unlike those domesticated sheep, she's from a wild mouflon. Stronger, rare, wilder. She couldn't even bear to put on the school's uniform the other sheep mindlessly wear. As novel as that girl's wilderness is, the wild thing is, in, or the wild things end up in cages. Still, keep your distance and your guard up. The voice coming in front of the supply room is none other than that of the teacher, Kuzuki. He was speaking politely, almost reverently. However, this rent of Sokka, the Harways in Asia have voiced some concerns regarding her. She is the daughter of a noble family, which makes her unruly behavior even more unbecoming. That voice that chimes in to join Kuzuki is none other than the transfer student, Leo's. I mean, you can clearly see Leo, so, you know, unlike Kuzuki, who's probably hiding in a corner. Unlike in class, his voice held a childlike timidity. Uh, it seems like Kuzuki's words were bothered to him. I simply just. She is a failure, like the other dropouts and so. She is below your concern. There's nothing in the world that doesn't concern me, teacher. More importantly, I wonder what a domesticated being like me can learn from her wild bravery. There is nothing, because you are already perfect. Sell. Anything you like is something the world itself lacks. It was a joke. It has been a while since I've been scolded. I think you enjoy it. Coming or for, I enjoy it coming from you. In any case, I'll heed your warning about her. So are there any other important beings? It's worth noting that the assassins sent by those alchemists. I've yet to confirm anything, but no doubt they're lurking about her. Ah, I don't believe I've ever seen how alchemists fight. Their charms, their symbol, rather 
are quite unusual. We have the opportunity now. Aren't you curious, teacher? Wait until I've checked out about this assassin first. There are only one to watch out for. However, there are others with excellent ability. A handful of others have passed the prelims besides Rento Saka. Huh? I don't see the rush. I think there are much more to be learned from observing the school. I love to take my time and enjoy, for instance, the beauty of things, like the garden. They seem to employ quite skilled gardener. You should see the gardener too, Mr. Kuziki. No, brother. I'll respectfully decline. That ends my report. I see. Too bad. Then if you need anything else. It'll be the best if we have a little contact with each other as we can. It is unusual for a teacher and a student to meet like this. I understand. Be careful. Yes, you too, brother. Following those words, they both disappear perfectly in sync with each other. I didn't understand what they were saying, but I get the feeling that I shouldn't have been listening. Huh. So, yeah. They disappeared. Did you hear there was a murder here the day before yesterday? There's been a number of murders in the area recently. Scary. Leonardo Harway of the Western European Polyocracy. Leo would be the distinguished son of the Harway Plucaronic fam uh, family. He's young, but soon he'll rule the world. So that's what the Western European Plucarat is doing here. Plucarat? Plucaron? Words! English! What do you want? Oh, our club's ace. Did you find out anything yesterday? What? Little Red Rooftop vanished before your eyes. If she disappeared, that isn't anything we can do about that. <laughs> Nothing we can do. What's with the editor-in-chief's reaction? It's not right. I thought she'd say something like, Hey, don't scare me like that. Actually, the problematic part is how nonchalant she is that the person disappeared. Your next story will be Mystery of the Courtyard Chapel. The editor-in-chief keeps talking like nothing happened. She's already on to the next thing. Should I say something? Hey, did you know there's a chapel on campus even though this isn't a mission school? It seems like the chapel has been here longer than the school. This is just a rumor, but they say that, that it's haunted with magic rods and all in there. I'm sending you to investigate. The entrance to the courtyard is at the end of the right side of the first floor hallway. So you're going to investigate the chapel in the garden next. It's very pretty out there with all the flowers. The editor-in-chief doesn't seem to like herself today. What the heck? I feel queasy. Well, we already talked to you. You scared the bejesus out of me. What do you want? Actually, I'm glad you're here. The editor-in-chief asked me to investigate the Seven Wonders, but check this out. One of Tsukimihara's seven wonders of female ghost who wanders the hallway. The ghost of a foreign girl wanders the floor, third floor. If you respond to her, she'll suck out your soul. Now that you know the details, go investigate it for me. Huh? You think I should just walk around the third floor and do it on my own? No way. I really can't handle paranormal stuff. If anyone can take on the case of the wonder ghost, the third floor, it's you. Good luck! So I was looking at the garden and caught my eye of a stranger, and then they vanished. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I've had splitting headaches ever since. What's up with that? What do you want, second year? Could you possibly be? No way. Go on, kid. The area around the school is it hasn't been safe recently. Once school is over, all trace of humanity disappear. The silence left behind is terrifying. Alone in the midst of this unnerving scene, I suddenly sense a strange presence nearby. It feels like there's someone standing right behind me, staring at the back of my head. That has to be my imagination. I hear no footsteps, no sounds, no breathing. I am alone here. And yet, the feeling that I am not alone persists. It must be a hallucination of some kind. What should I do? If it's my imagination playing tricks on me, then nothing should be here if I turn around and look. So what should I do? Turn around. I turn around and of course, no one is there. Oh. Hey Alice. Is what I want to say. However, something is there. It appears to be a young girl. The young girl's appearance is definitely at odds with the surrounding campus. With this mass of frills and hoop skirt, the dress is right out of the Victorian era. 
Kabbalah with a porcelain-like skin. She looks like some kind of like a child's doll come to life. It's kind of a relief, but the point is she doesn't seem like she's really alive. The girl doesn't move a muscle, just like a doll, just like a corpse, just like a painting, just like a rag. Her eyes, full of sadness, stare fixedly in my direction. Suddenly, her fatigue begins to melt away as she slowly fades into nothing. The last thing seems to disappear are her eyes. With that, the strange presence she felt, or I felt fades away. There's nothing to indicate the girl was ever here. She must be the source of all the wandering girl stories flying around the school. I found your Alice. Huh? Wait a second. Don't settle on me. This is no good Oculus stuff either. Rooftop? The door to the rooftop is locked. Do not enter sign. I was at the arcade the other day and I saw Miss Fujimura there again. I think she lives there. I saw her there too. She won many stuffed animals and I was like, she must turn an army? Shiji, what do you want? That's strange, even for here. Oh, it's you again. I don't have time to play with you. like with you, obviously, I do. Go play reporter or whatever it is with friendliness little geeks like you do instead of having a laugh. So you know people dream about what they would do in the day? I've got a new plan sleep studying. Or a new plan sleep studying. Is that Kodamine? It looks like Kodamine. Hey, guess what? I saw the priest eating some super spicy tofu. I was about to say tofu, which it was tofu. Food at the Chinese restaurant by my house. Hello, young people. I shall follow your progress with great interest. Best of luck. Thank you, Kodamine. And your black keys. Nothing. Keep your guard up, it's almost too quiet there. Lately I've been getting these crushing headaches at school, it's starting to freak me out. True facts, never had a headache. The man stands like a black stain, tainted by the joyful, multicolored flower bed around him. It's the new teacher, Kuzuki. But the man standing in front of me isn't acting like a teacher by any stretch of the imagination. The sick malignancy of overbearing aggression fills the air, and then scattered around him are dead bodies of students? I thought I saw his head twitch there for a second. Why did you come in here? I'm certain I locked that door. I suppose I'll test you out. His thin lips hardly move, but in the next instant, I bowed over, as if struck by an invisible force. Chaotic thoughts bury my brain like endless grains of sand. What happened? Can I move my limbs? Seriously, what was that? Kuzuki hasn't moved. No one else is nearby. Who? Why? How? My thoughts whirl. My heart races. I see what you are now. It isn't you, I suppose. His voice was, qu was a quiet hiss, but I could hear everything he said. This man with cold, insecurable eyes raised his palm towards me. When I come to you, I'm collapsed in the garden. 
The garden is silent. There's not even a trace of Kuziki or the corpse that had been there. I'm uninjured. My body aches from laying on the hard ground. The cold sweat that has covered me is gone too. Only the piercing pain in my head remains. Maybe it's just a bad dream. I gulp air and attempt to stand. The ground seems to move under my feet. I'm delusional. Of course, the ground isn't moving. I'll give my report to the editor in chief tomorrow and just go home today. A day will pass if you leave campus. And I think that's actually where we're going to call it. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm going to start doing this more often. Uh, my goal is to at least try to upload three videos a week. Probably, my goal, definitely Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I appreciate everyone for watching. Like I said, keep an eye out for the Guildfest on the Discord. It's something I've been working on for a little bit. Um, and I think everybody's going to have fun with it. Uh, and... Uh, this isn't going to change any of like, the streaming schedules or anything like that. So I'll be back still Tuesday for streaming. Um, and then Sunday, of course, uh, will be another stream. Which we're still doing Sonic 06. So if you're interested in watching me play an absolute horrible, horrible fun game, uh, check out my Sonic 06 streams. So that'll be it for this time. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.